It's Friday the 29th of May. This is the news in 60 seconds. A change in the discharge procedure for COVID patients will dramatically increase the number of recorded COVID recoveries. Up until now, you would not be considered recovered until you had two negative PCR tests. But because of the nature of COVID, even though you had no symptoms and were no longer infectious, there could still be a small amount of the virus left in your system, and that could still show as positive during a PCR test, adding extra weeks to your time in care. The World Health Organization says that 10 days after a positive swab, the majority of patients are no longer contagious. Qatar is adding an additional four days to that, and unless there are symptoms or complications, you will be discharged and recorded as recovered 14 days after a positive swab. You will then be required to stay at home, not going out for any reason, for a further week. Qatar has reiterated that the unjust blockade imposed on it nearly three years ago threatened the security and stability of the region. Qatar yesterday denied that it plans to quit the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, saying the rumours are entirely incorrect and baseless. Mosques will remain closed in Qatar, says the Ministry of Alkoff, and the government will revert to COVID-19 timings from Sunday, operating from 7am to 1pm with offices staffed by 20% of its workforce and the remainder working remotely. A quick look at the numbers for yesterday's COVID update shows 1,967 new cases, 2,116 recoveries and unfortunately three passed away. The weekly net average for the daily new and recovered cases is now plus 593, which is 145 less than yesterday's net average. Although the new cases are among the highest I've seen, the number of newly recovered cases has finally exceeded the number of newly detected cases. Thus, today, the number of active cases went down from yesterday's 35,634 to today's 35,482, a real-time reduction in active cases of 152. Let's hope that this is a pivotal moment in time. That's all for today. Please take care and I'll see you tomorrow.